I mean, we just got stopped, but I'll, I'll pull the cars, but yeah, it's a good time. Welsh. We just dapped up the Rio de Janeiro police, bro. When you've been in this country half an hour, bro. Already getting passports, sir. This is Brazil. Let's get it. What do you reckon, buddy? What a day, what a day. It's a bit of a change of scenery out here in Rio de Janeiro where we're at the international airport because my best mate in this entire world, his name's Ajuna, he arrives in literally half an hour. So we're coming to pick him up and travel a bit of Brazil together. I've never really spoken about him, but he's that brother that I've been on the phone weekly basis, four hour phone calls, three hour phone calls. So it's no longer just gonna be a team of two anymore. It's gonna be a team of three and the adventure's gonna be more insane. We're gonna be able to go to more dangerous places, safer together. We're gonna be able to see more. We're gonna be just a bunch of laughs. It's just literally gonna be two best mates having the best time. I cannot wait. The brother and I in the front here, we've got the seat extended literally for that reason. It's a very solo adventure going from Bolivia, the bottom of Argentina then, to Uruguay and now Brazil, with it being the most dangerous country so far on the trip. Really, the more the merrier. Good girl. Alrighty, Paddy, I'm gonna go find a Juno. You're gonna stay here and we're gonna be right back. This is gonna be insane. See you soon, Pati. Bro, I just, I just freaking rocked up and this guy is already waiting for me, so Let's go. we're filming the intro for we're too doing. long, but freaking hell, my brother is here. <laughs> How good, bro. How good. Amazing. Uh, we, we are representing, we're representing. Look at this guy. Look. He's got the freaking merch. Wait, we gotta, He's got the we merch. Gotta do the, the, the full. The full. What's the back looking like? Back. Look at this guy. <laughs> How good, man. Full How good. support. How freaking good. Alright, let's get going. Let's, let's see the tuk-tuk, man. Welcome to the promised land, my brother. <laughs> you happy, miss? Relax. I'll put her on a leash and then... Yeah. Let her out. Hey, you're so happy. You're so happy. <laughs> you know it. You know the vibe. You know it. The best mate has arrived, Patty. You treat him good. You protect him with your life, yeah? Relax. Break. Relax. Relax, it's my, it's my brother. It's my brother, Patti. Oh. Yes, and there you go, there you yes. go. Yes, hello. That is, yep, yes. Relax, yes. Happy. Patti? Give her a pat. Good. Good, yo. You're just <laughs> chilling. Relax, relax, relax. <laughs> if you want to chuck your backpack in, and yep. then we can just like walk her for like five minutes yes, and before you jump in. Hey, yes, you're a sweetheart. Here we go. Let's freaking get it, brother. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Gotta be the absolute best freaking time. <laughs> the shenanigans begin. <laughs> Arjuna got in first, get Patty in, and then ready to rock and roll. How's the setup, bro? How, how yeah, comfy dude, are you? Sweet, sweet. It's good. So, as you can see, my brother, we absolutely finessed the motorcycle parking <laughs> somehow, and now we're getting out. So, right. I got the card for you. You good, Miss Patty? Might spit it out again. Yeah. Here we freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> There's some Rio traffic, big vibes, <laughs> and she's hey, chilling hey, out. Foreigners, when they arrive, usually they'll walk out of the airport, they'll see a policeman with usually a big ass gun, and then they'll see a favela on the way to Copacabana, which is the foreigner's haven that we're going to. Right up there, you got the big JC. The brother's seen it. The big JC. First time. It's something. It's a gorgeous sight though. Rio is showing off today. 
full of life. Yeah, but plenty of plenty of motorbikes out the left side. I was like to my brother, you got anything in your left pocket, bro? <laughs> and put the fanny bag away. Oh, no. <laughs> Sí, siempre hay buenas interacciones con la policía aquí. Obrigado. He's just doing a passport check on just the legend here. Like the one that doesn't speak the, any of the language. Ah, Australian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Welsh. 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 Hey, 60, 70, perdão. 70? Sim. Putz. Há muitas horas, irmão. Sim, mas <risos> ao menos la, la, os caminhões le, le gustam. Legal. Sim, Puxa, são gozeiros. E com, com a bandeira, melhor também. Pô, oh, legal. <risos> Welsh. Welsh. Welsh, é. Yeah. Um selfie. <risos> Primeiro dia para ele em Brasil. Ele ah, chega. Fala bem português? Ah, é portunhol, não? É, não, não é, mas dá para compreender. Obrigado. Obrigado. Aí depois já para onde? Ah, de idioma? Brasil, ah. depois? Ah, agora Brasília e Paraguai. Porque quero conhecer a Amazônia. Ah, legal, legal. Obrigado, amigo. Obrigado. Tchau. Aí, wait, 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 wait. wait. Um, yeah, you're good. Now get in. Good? Just, just so that, yeah. She was chill. She wasn't looking at you, but... We just dapped up the Rio de Janeiro police, bro. When you been in this country half an hour, bro. We're already getting passport checked. Dude, <laughs> like, this guy doesn't belong But here. only this guy got passport checked. <laughs> the driver, dude, <laughs> did it say it. Yeah, you can see everybody is passing. We're the only cars that got stuck. They're just like curious, but... Yeah. Obrigado, amigo. Muy buena onda. Ciao. Ciao. We made it. I've got the big, the big feed. Yeah, the filet de peixe is what they call this, which is like a typical feed of just you've got battered fish, salad, chips, rice, beans. And that's gonna run you seven US dollars everywhere in Brazil. How good? Tá bom? Tá bom? Sim. He just asked if you were a bad doggy, Miss Potty. Protecting us from the vendors. We're outside. Look at that. That's actually a crazy view. We've got Copacabana Palace behind my brother Arjuna there. And we're just currently walking Patty and we're about to hit up the Domino's raid. The big man. My mate and I used to have like the best chats, the best feeds back in Australia. And Rio has a couple of dominoes here. So we got the Guarana Fanta. This is like a very specific type of like Fanta in Brazil. And then what, what pizza we got? We have Yo. some sort of chicken pizza. And this is like a garlic bread. Oh, nice. The Domino's Cup, it's my first time trying the Fanta version. Because usually there's another brand called Antarctica of Guarana, but I think I prefer the other one. And then the pizza, nice. That's solid, bro. What are you saying? Amazing. Yo, just like old times. Yeah. We're out in the streets of Copacabana, out to our left. We're moving apartments currently. But in the couple hours we've got to kill, we're gonna try to find a backrest for us to be both more comfortable. But it is absolute chocker block at the back. You can see there's a very <laughs> temporary setup. And it's full as it gets back here. How are you going, Miss Patty? You, you're surviving at least. Oh yeah. Well set. Darling. Nice to promote a vest. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> it is very nice. So we've left our current backrest with this bro that worked at a laundromat. And I went to ask for directions and this guy's like, give me 30 minutes and 30 USD and I can do it for you. And I'm like, all right, Adrena, this is kind of how Latin America works. We'll see what the end result is. We're about to pull up. I think he's up here on the right. This is the second. 
two boom. Here you go. Perfect. Keep it rolling. Si, sí, perfecto. Pero la okay. cosa es, um, me dijiste vas a cubrir. Por, yo puedo hacer eso en casa con, en mi cocina. Y no, no vale 150. Puedo hacer eso con mi cuchillo en cocina. I told me, me, you dije, told me. me dijiste vas a cubrir. Ah, estoy por haciendo así, así. Entonces, entonces vale 120. ¿Ah? No, 120. no, 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 más de 50 para cortar. Por, no, vos me dijiste que cubrir. Sí. Por estoy perdiendo tiempo. Ah. Obrigado, amigo. Obrigado. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. We called it, right? Fuck yep. We called it. He originally said 30. I said, Arjuna, it has to be at least covered. Because there's no point, dude, I just told him, you, I can do that in two seconds in the, in the kitchen. And he's like, okay, 22 USD then. <laughs> I said, <laughs> buddy, I'm giving you freaking 10 USD and that's generous. No, that's it's even, not, it's not even, that's even, even worse. That's even worse than it came. No, <laughs> bro. <laughs> it just butchered your This seat. is Latin America. It just butchered your seat. <laughs> that's what happens when you get a laundromat to fix your chair. <laughs> What you saying, Miss Putty? Not a whole lot. We'll fix it up. There you go. On the beach of Copacabana, we've got the bros' first time pulling up in the Tuki Tuki. We're just about to. You gotta get a full tank and fill up the little bluey. Look at that. Look how much stuff is going on there. Good job, Miss Putty. Hey. You're going so good. You're going so good. Gosh. Yes, it's amazing, my amigo. Huge skyscrapers, man. Copacabana is something else. That's the little suburb that we've been in the last week, just enjoying it. Hopefully, I'll take you on some more side quests. <laughs> The next day we're doing a little bit of an apartment tour. We've got the egg breakfast cook-up going. This apartment, how much was it, brother? It's like 250 USD each for, for the, the yeah, the week and a half. Week? Yeah, he's hooking in we've to a little bit of a patch of fruit. Yeah. Yo, fresh Brazilian fruit there. Miss Patti has been sleeping out here. Um, we've just got a nice little opening area. It's quite a big apartment. Um, you can tell it's an Airbnb spot because of the amount of like Rio de Janeiro artwork that we've got here, so, and here as well. And then my bedroom's through here. And we've got a really gorgeous view of the jungle. I've been trying to spot monkeys, but the mountain's huge and we're like four streets from the beach here. Um, hey, Miss Patti. And yeah, I'm pretty sweet. So today's the plan is freaking hiking, isn't it, bro? And what happened last night? Freaking found ourselves at a samba spot, eh? Yeah, we found ourselves in a local samba spot. <laughs> so yeah, we're going on like a three-hour hike today. We can't take Patti because there's a bit of like scrambling up to the end, I think. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We just took one metro and I thought we had another metro, but apparently it's a bus. But just a very attractive part of Rio de Janeiro that we're currently in. We're just taking public transport to find this hike entrance. Market stalls and things, not really market stalls, but yeah, little food carts and things. All that like kind of temporary, but all set in place. This is like a motorcycle rank across the road from us. So like if we were in a rush right now, we didn't want to take the bus. Uh, we could just jump on the back of one of these motorbikes, the two of us. It's saying for an hour it's costing about 20 USD and they can take it anywhere you want or even do like a guide tour thing. But Rio is just blessed with these mountains that just surround us and it is a gorgeous day to be going for a hike. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I think the bus stop's just over there, bro. We're looking for 557. It's all so foreign for me and, and more so for my mate here as well. <laughs> 
I've just spotted the favela off in the distance as well. It's like we've definitely come out and we're out in the streets. It, where we are currently is safe, but if we were waiting like 10 streets that way, not so much. I'll get it, I'll zoom in on it of what we're looking at. Dois para a Praça El Valo Dogi. Puedo pagar con dinero. ¿Cuánto? Sí. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Es como un tipo de entrada de turnstile. Nunca he visto eso en ningún otro bus. Es increíble. Es por eso que cuando los niños están entrando por gratis, están como empujando por el lado de la puerta. Tenemos que intentar encontrar un clipe de eso. Hay muchos montes alrededor, pero creo que hemos encontrado nuestros montes. Es increíble, ¿verdad? Es increíble. Así que vamos a la parte de arriba. And we're in like a really well-off part of Brazil. It's like cabanas and, and hotels, boats, apartment buildings. And everybody's just, the way that people are using their phones on the buses and things, it's, you can just feel the locals feel safe. Um, therefore, like, we're feeling safe, but there's even somebody using a Kindle. I've never seen that in Latin America yet. And that's us, we're getting off now. You go first, bro. Obrigado, amigo. Do you remember the name of this hike? Pedra de Gavia. Pedra de Gavia. I'll put it up on the screen as well, but essentially it's a very accessible hike in the way that from where we were in Copacabana Beach, we took a 15 minute metro, a 15 minute bus, and we're looking freaking straight at the mountains. So from here, it's about an hour and a half walk. So yeah, my mate's really just taking the reins with this one. And he's like, all right, we're gonna send the hardest hike there is. So we used to do a lot of hiking together in, in Australia, filming nothing because it's just, living it in the moment but now yeah you're gonna see us adventuring finally as the boys after two and a half years we're freaking back it's man fishing out there and then department stores and shopping malls that's the metro that's sick we're going somewhere in there so we're just kind of leaving the residential areas now there's a range rover on my right people are cycling with iphones in their hands cycling with airpods pros of apple products in their ears we're in a very very safe spot and yeah we're going this way yeah so yeah as foreigners us just typing into google hikes to do in rio and then just using google maps to get our public transport here we always it's kind of unknown of what we're walking into or about to see but getting to the spot and then making quick evaluations of the places you're in to just suss it out uh, they're like really good maybe like some tips and tricks of the road traveling in latin america but these houses are gorgeous that's where we're going so it's a damn good thing we didn't bring paddy bro because yeah probably transport and the scramble at the end wouldn't be possible but future vids these when the, the hikes that aren't so touristy because we're seeing such a touristic part of the world right now but the not so touristic hikes definitely park the tuk tuk up somewhere and send some big adventures with with the doggo absolutely you see monkeys in the wild or when you're in nepal yeah here's the monkeys you probably see some today here in brazil <laughs> yeah oh, <well. laughs> that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah when i was i was the same because we'll eventually hike the jc but i think we're going to do that over on his video so uh, it'll be yeah time but you'll see monkeys on that hike as well the tuk tuk could not, not get up here, bro. That's it. This is where the car park kind of ends and where the official, official hike starts now. It doesn't have a distance. I think from what I saw, it was like five kilometers. Five kilometer hike. Is that the return? I think so. We'll figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we got water and high spirits. It's, it's a dangerous combination. <laughs> Sorry, I'm glad you didn't didn't pick that up. It's a really nice spot. 
No monkeys yet though. Nope. We didn't make it very far, did we brother? <laughs> <laughs> Too much degeneracy recently. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we might cut that out. <laughs> oh, I remember being fitter when I was last with you, brother. <laughs> that upper head row looks pretty good. Um, yeah, we're a bit further than we were last time pulled out the camera, but just starting to get catches of views and what you got there, bro? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting technical now. Fun. The steps get higher. I'm just getting, getting a bit sandy. Oh my god, bro! Oh, <laughs> can, you, can you see the the top of the mountain though? No. I can. <laughs> so it's not looking good. Just these jokes. Oh, nice. And it's looking like they've got like a most proper metallic chain, and then some footholds. Something like that. Nice. Oi! Look at that, that view! <laughs> my brother Loki got my reaction to that as well. Holy shoot. Still blocked. The view's only gonna get better from here, but I really didn't expect to turn around and see all that. That is something. That's something else. Alright, this man, we're gonna just plonk ourselves right here for the moment. We're not trying to wrap. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> on camera, as if, bro. I was straight cooking. I was straight cooking, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so we're tired. Live reacts over here. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> this hike's really got a bit of everything. This is really cool. It's bangers. Still no monkeys. <laughs> I'm waiting. Kids, uh, tengo un filtro. Un filtro y. Y. ¿Quieres usar? Sí, sí. Wow. Filtro. ¿Eh? Y podemos. Para agua. Ah. Va a beber. So, coincidentally, didn't have a bottle cap for my water bottle. And we be using the filter at home. Fresh water. We only Getting... bought a liter each, so yeah, it's actually saving us because we would have been running a bit low. Yeah, yeah, and obviously hot day, um, but this is freaking perfect. And just <laughs> Brazil, you Brazil, where you just got a fresh flowing stream coming off a leaf, you chuck it straight in your bottle, and then us gringos have got to filter it. But positive, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get some more. Cold and fresh. That's good stuff. What do you think, Ben? Is is very necessary, this? Salai. Okay. Okay. But now, the one. See. Okay. Already got a minute late earlier. You were saying, "Oh, I don't actually think the scramble is going to be that bad." <laughs> and I'm like, "Bro, everybody's got harnesses on." <laughs> what did he say? I actually didn't understand him. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is it? We oh, our first Brazilian monkey. Well, my first Brazilian monkey. Holy heck. He's just gone around the corner. Look at that, bro. That's our first little lookout, man. Oh, not bad.
long way up, but that's a view and a half. Just come behind the bush for a little bit of a audio because there's a wind out there, but that is nice. Where do you have the ocean and then a mountain freaking like this right on it? That's insanity. It's freaking gorgeous. And we're out here with the best, bro. What a time. We're just getting our first sightings of climbers there. Wow, man, this is special. Hello, cheeky monkey. Oh, he's coming for you, bro. He's coming for you. So she was just commenting saying it's difficult. Difficult. Film them for a sec. Everyone's abseiling at the moment, coming down, so they've just been at the top. So yeah, they've all got obviously harnesses, ropes. We're just raw dogging it with some sunnies and a bucket hat. <laughs> um, there's a bro sending it barefoot. He looks like a local, so we're kind of going to follow him up, more or less. Yeah, you should. So we're going to mainly stay to this right side. Looks very climbable, rather than sticking to this smooth stuff. And I must like loop around because there's nobody climbing up here. Because there's no obstruction from trees and things, we're literally gonna be on the side of this cliff and then to our backs, it's just views and a half. Oh, bro. Oh, oh yes. We're so back. This is living. We're so back. Bro. We're so back. Nice. How good's this? Bro, just on the casual scrambles. What's going on behind me, ladies and gentlemen? Sentís más cómodo sin zapatos. <laughs> Good vibes. Obrigado. <laughs> the boys. Yo puedo. Como 30 highs para bajo. No, aquí o mejor. Mejor, más emocionante. Do you know? Hold on. Do you know? You, if you want to like go down, you can. You pay. Go down where? Here. Like with these guys. Uh, or you organize it before. True, true, true. Yeah, so I'm not sure. Do right. you guys have a tour guide? No. Wow. What do you mean, wow? Yeah. <laughs> okay, ballsy. Cool. Yeah, we just call it for public transport. <laughs> <laughs> the little metro. Yeah. Nice. Well, you're not too hey far. No, it's pretty good. Yeah. Nice. So, could you go down? Just talk with me, okay? Muito bom. All right, thank you so much, my friend. Okay, he's, okay, that's, that's nice, the answer. Nice. Right. And the man is just running. That's that's the guy. That's the guy you speak to if you want to go down with a rope. He knows what he's doing. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's do it. Have fun. Muy bueno, amigo. Okay. Sí, él es corriendo. So we're going to right. We're nearly at the top. My brother's right there. I love this little star between the streets that has happened and that is really outlined and defined by the trees and things. But I've also clocked just right here is where we got off the bus. So that's the bridge. And from there to here, it's 4.9 kilometers. So I'll put up the miles on the screen. How is that brother? Pretty good. That is awesome. That is it, man. That's it, man. Parabéns, chegaste. É, 
Vitória. Vitória. Sim, sim, sim. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, Spider-Man. Yeah, we're on our way down now. <laughs> Clearly. Alrighty, bro, what you got there? We got some snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely smooth snacks. So we raided a bakery in the morning. Obviously, a Brazilian bakery, but not the most Brazilian pastry. So these are chocolate croissants. Tart that was to two lemon freaking pies, little mini ones. Custard dreams and a uh, caramel dream and these are my favorite desserts I've found so far in Brazil <laughs> Yo, Sonhos de crema is what this is called Second course Second course, Second yeah. course. Well, There's more custard than, than cake and that's There you go Let's see bro's first reaction of dulce de leche Yo. Out of ten mm, Eight Eight. It's pretty an, good. An eight. That's that impressive. Lemon tart was really good. That's, was that a ten? If that's if the lemon that's tart's a ten, a 10 oh nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The, the chocolate croissant though is my favorite. I was just telling the bro, hook into that. It's a questionable eight in my opinion, but what would you give it then? Because I've tried Dulce Leche in Argentina and Uruguay. The best is in Uruguay, I've said that before, but and Brazil ranked quite lowly on the Dulce Leche scale, so it's probably a four out of 10. <laughs> I guess we're hungry and we're hiking. We're and hungry and we're hiking, but it is soggy at the same time, like it's not fresh, so. Yeah. And, it, and it's smushed. <laughs> so we got we can't give it an eight. <laughs> we're on our way down, and you guys know how we are. We don't really film on the way back if nothing's happening, except something's happening. What the heck is going on there, lads? What are those animals? They're not afraid of us, they're coming like right to us. Okay, I'd love someone in the comments to tell us what these are. <laughs> these guys look like they were scavenging for food from where the hikers were before, but they're cute as. They're close now, that's his baby. He's gonna attack me. We have to go through, buddy. Yeah, off you go. Off you go. Good guy. Bye bye. Cuties though. Cheers. How freaking good is that Gatorade, bro? After the hike. Oh, nice. Well, cold. well deserved. Well though. deserved after a pretty, pretty tough hike. Nice. Yeah. And we're just taking the bus back, and then clapping a gym set. Gym session. We'll go see Patty as well. See what yeah. she's up to. Yeah. It's the exact same thing, but it's. We'll go the most expensive one. Looks more legit. Looks a bit. The hot dogs are like in a sauce of some sort, and then we're gonna get like these fries, cheese, eggs, corn, some other salsa. Looking pretty good. <laughs> what is that one? He doesn't know. <laughs> Same. Looks pretty good, bro. Billy Jack. That one. Same. Eso solo. Está bom. Mate, it's the best thing we've had all day. Muito rico. Muito rico. Muito bom. Same. De Australia. Australia. De, de... Olos azules. No? Ah. I'll translate it. She just said he gets a lot of girls, right? <laughs> you, you attract a lot of attention, right? <laughs> Barely. So yeah, we're iron off the Maccas on the corner where it's like a little thing. What, what do you, a little Maccas cubicle. They call just it- Just for dessert. Yeah, just for dessert. And they call it Maki. That was on the corner. And then we, he, he eyed off this hot dog stand. I've been talking about Brazilian hot dogs for a minute. And so this is our first one together. It's good. In Brazil, food stands everywhere. It's so accessible. Um, and so is the metro. So we've only got one stop home. GPS routed us a better combination and we're on our way home. Now, finally to get Patty after scoffing that hot dog and a half. Oh, Hello, Miss Patty. Patty. We're so proud. We're so proud. Hey. Hola, hola. Hola, give me, give me. Patty. We're back. Yeah, we are. Yes. Yes, sir. We freaking made it. Made it. <laughs> Bit of a hike, and then in cranking out some weights, man. On the bench first up. You know how it is. That's this guy even went for a run. We ran this here. Guy <laughs> <for> a run. <laughs> Menace. 
Looking big, brother. Sorry about that. Here we are, just getting the shoes on. Patty, you know when he's got the freaking button-down shirt, he's feeling dangerous. Dangerous. Where are we going, bro? We're going to Mundo Lingo, where this guy <laughs> can practice his Spanish <laughs> and he's Portuguese, but we're gonna get after it and chat some English. <laughs> so it's like a bar environment. Should be good. We'll see what happens. Let's get it, Miss Patty. Locked. <laughs> Senor Dangerous, <laughs> get in there, you dog. <laughs> so this is me, zero caipirinhas in. But Ryan, obrigado. And we're in the Uber, boys. Obrigado, amigo. Ciao. That is us. Heading out of the Uber. Uh, do you have another flag just to? Um, um, oh yes, we speak Spanish. Yeah, that's the like target language, I guess. Ah, qué bueno. Obrigado. Uh huh. Nice. Obrigado. Muito obrigado. It's got the flags, and we're heading in. So at these events, the country you're from goes on top, and then the target language that you speak goes underneath. And because we don't speak Portuguese, we're not putting on our shirts. Whatever's going, bro. Whatever's going. Nice, bro. How you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Ready it's a good vibe. Drink. It's ready a good vibe. Drink. Yeah, ready to get a drink, he says. Ah? And they got the game on. There's a lot of people here now. A lot of people. Pretty crowded. Send it, bruh. Where are we? We're in Botafogo Shopping Center. It's called Beach Shopping Center. And we're on our way to get a quick feed and then we're hitting up, finally, watching Wolverine and Deadpool together in cinema. I was waiting for the bro to come and then he's finally here. So we're like, all right, today's the day. And it's- Thanks for it's in English. Thanks for it. We just checked it out. It's in English, subtitled in Portuguese. Subway, a bunch of like meat restaurants, but I think Taco Bell's the way to go, eh? Go to the Big Bell box for myself. What a view, bro. That's insane. We got the cinema just over there. The brother is just about to pick up the Taco Bell. Freaking, let's go. We'll go out near the, the window. There's a lot going on in there. Keen to try it. Hell yeah. And best chips I've had all in, in the whole of Brazil as well. And the view, the feed, the brother. Freaking 10 out of 10 experience this one. There we are, we got the tickets and we're in. It's been a while since I've been in the cinema. Got the snacks, my brother. We're freaking. God damn it, bro, let's go! Look at the time. outside Copacabana Beach go to Juna on my ride and with Patty as well and there's nothing better than curing from a slight bit of a hangover from going out for drinks last night and going in Rio de Janeiro's ocean time for a swim there's a bunch of people 
selling stuff. They had these tents set up where you can get drinks and beers and things, Oceanside, but now they're kind of packing up. It's getting like it's on sunset, but there's not really much of a sun out. Um, we're just trying to make the most of the, the last couple days that we have in Rio de Janeiro here together. And Paddy's, of course, just loving it as usual. Patty, hey. What'd you say in this party? Yeah, so Paddy's scared of the water, plus somebody has to stay with our stuff at all times. So I've just left my phone and thongs. If you even just leave thongs on beaches of Rio, it's most likely gonna get stolen. So we're gonna get a quick little dip in. That flag saying there's higher risk to swim and I can see that now while I'm up staring eye level at these, at these waves here. They're pretty big. But nonetheless, for content, we're taking the camera inside the ocean of Rio de Janeiro. Meet a big boy. Quick swim. You chilling with the Juno? What's he got? He's got he's got wet hands. <laughs> Volleyball and the legends still packing up the beach. It takes them forever because the cart's going back and forth all the chairs. It's a lot to push on this sand. And of course you got the little umbrellas for bars and things. Copacabana is a big vibe. They will take their generators as well, that's hectic stuff. Alrighty then, we've left our little seats for a couple of days since we had the little drama regarding the, the laundromat bro. So we've dropped off the seats to get them kind of repaired and done up. They actually didn't have a thing to cut the seats, so it was pretty good that we sent it to the dude, got it cut first, and then just left it with them. It looks like they're like proper covering them so we're literally around the corner. Ah, uh, move the bomb for faith though. Same, same, same. Move the bomb. Ciao. They turned out hella good man. Yeah. Well then unfortunately this is our last day of Rio. It's usually a packed beach on a Sunday afternoon but what we're experiencing is just overcast weather Hattie's getting rained on, she's not really having a bar of it. But it is what it is on this travel adventure, you can't pick the weather. And it looks like tomorrow, Monday morning, we're leaving in a very similar type style of storm. So I freaking hope you guys have like enjoyed seeing more of maybe a personal style to the two of us. Thanks for coming to Juno. And Appreciate it brother. Keen to have you great. around. It's yeah. gonna be epic. It is gonna be epic, so yeah. That's the Rio chapter done. And on the Aussie Espanol channel, how do we close out the vid, bro? What a day, what a day. What a day, what a day. See you guys next week as we head out of Rio de Janeiro on route to Brasilia.